William Shakespeare biography. Who was William Shakespeare? An introduction. William Shakespeare was born in Stratford-upon-Avon, England, in April 1564. The exact date of his birth is not recorded, but it is most often celebrated around the world on 23 April. Shakespeare's baptism is recorded in the parish register at Holy Trinity Church, Stratford-upon-Avon on Wednesday, 26 April 1564. Baptisms typically took place within three days of a new arrival, and parents were instructed by the prayer book to ensure that their children were baptized no later than the first Sunday after birth. This means that it's unlikely that Shakespeare was born any earlier than the previous Sunday. 23 April. Given that three days would be a reasonable interval between birth and baptism, 23 April has therefore come to be celebrated as his birthday. Shakespeare also died on 23 April in 1616 when he was 52 years of age. Shakespeare's Family Life Records survive relating to William Shakespeare's family offer an understanding of the context of Shakespeare's early life and the lives of his family members. John Shakespeare married Mary Arden, and together they had eight children. John and Mary lost two daughters as infants, so William became their eldest child. John Shakespeare worked as a glove maker but he also became an important figure in the town of Stratford by fulfilling civic positions. His elevated status meant that he was even more likely to have sent his children, including William, to the local grammar school. William Shakespeare would have lived with his family in their house on Henley Street until he turned 18. When he was 18, Shakespeare married Anne Hathaway, who was 26. It was a rushed marriage because Anne was already pregnant at the time of the ceremony. Together they had three children. Their first daughter, Susanna, was born six months after the wedding and was later followed by twins Hamnet and Judith. Hamnet died when he was just eleven years Shakespeare in London Shakespeare's crew jump started in London. But when did he go there? We know Shakespeare's twins were baptized in 1585, and that by 1592 his reputation was established in London. But the intervening years are considered a mystery. Scholars generally refer to these years as the lost years. During his time in London, Shakespeare's first printed works were published. There were two long poems, Venus and Adonis, 1593 and The Rape of Lucris, 1594. He also became a founding member of the Lord Chamberlain's Men, a company of actors. Shakespeare was the company's regular dramatist, producing on average two plays a year for almost 20 years. He remained with the company for the rest of his career during which time it evolved into the King's Men under the patronage of King James I from 1603. During his time in the company Shakespeare wrote many of his most famous tragedies, such as King Lear and Macbeth, as well as great romances like The Winter's Tale and The Tempest. Shakespeare's Works Altogether Shakespeare's works include 38 plays, to narrative poems, 150 for sonnets, and a variety of other poems. No original manuscripts of Shakespeare's plays are known to exist today. It is actually thanks to a group of actors from Shakespeare's company that we have about half of the plays at all. They collected them for publication after Shakespeare died. Preserving the plays, Shakespeare's legacy is as rich and diverse as his work as plays have spawned countless adaptations across multiple genres and cultures. 
His plays have had an enduring presence on stage and film. His writings have been compiled in various iterations of the complete works of William Shakespeare, which include all of his plays, sonnets, and other poems. William Shakespeare continues to be one of the most important literary figures of the English language. New Place, a home in Stratford-upon-Avon. Shakespeare's success in the London theatres made him considerably wealthy, and by 1597 he was able to purchase New Place, the largest house in the borough of Stratford-upon-Avon. Although his professional career was spent in London, he maintained close links with his native town. Recent archaeological evidence discovered on the site of Shakespeare's new place shows that Shakespeare was only ever an intermittent lodger in London. This suggests he divided his time between Stratford and London to a three-day commuter. In his later years, he may have spent more time in Stratford-upon-Avon than scholars previously thought. On his father's death in 1601, William Shakespeare inherited the old family home in Henley Street, part of which was then leased to tenants. Further property investments in Stratford followed, including the purchase of 107 acres of land in 1602. Shakespeare died in Stratford-upon-Avon on 23 April 1616 at the age of 52. He is buried in the sanctuary of the parish church, Holy Trinity. All the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances and one man in his time plays many parts.